All right, guys, in this next section, what we're going to be doing is we're going to focus on the database. So I need you guys to have MySQL installed on your computer. If you don't know how to do this, definitely go back into the timeline and check out uh, one of my courses on how to install all the things that you might need. OK, so you could come here and search um, where is it installations. OK, so click all installations you will need you could check out this course I have everything that you need as far as you know how to install PHP in MySQL with map okay so even though we are not doing uh, PHP you still need to use something like map to make it easier for you guys uh, to have MySQL installed okay um, at the same time I'm already expecting that you guys have this uh, set up already for you guys okay if you don't know my sequel you can still continue to take this course but I do recommend of you taking the learn my sequel with no JS course okay we go over everything about my sequel from the syntax to database relationships we build an inventory management system a crud rest API um, basically we go over all of these things man definitely go check out this course all right but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and start this uh, section for you guys okay so let's go back to our fresh gear we already set up a couple of components we set up this component here okay everything is working we set up this component here with react everything is good so we are ready to move on straight to the back end okay so to get started the first thing that we're going to do is make sure you have your map on okay you gotta have apache server mysql server both of these are gonna be green okay then from there what you want to do is if you don't have this on you want to turn it on all right but just in case you guys want to see what my settings are looking like in case you have any issues go to preferences okay and then from there you should be able to see MySQL 5.7 web server I have Apache I have uh, 7.2 as the PHP and these are my ports 88 88 88 88 and 3306 for MySQL okay so I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna come here and start the servers okay so there you go even though this is technically for PHP um, it doesn't really matter. All, all that matters is that we have a MySQL database set up for us. Okay. And that's why I love MAMP because it just saves us from installing everything manually into our computer, especially because it's such a long process. This is just saves us so much time. Okay. Now, I also recommend for you guys to have MySQL Workbench. Okay. Have MySQL Workbench is an amazing software okay and it's free you can just download it once you have it installed just come in to your workbench let me see my sequel okay open this up all right uh, we we're doing a couple of fixes here before okay so here you go let me close this up okay if you guys don't know how to do a connection to this it's very simple if you have everything already set up how I showed you guys in, in the videos from before you could do a, a web socket well not web socket sorry you could do a local socket pipe or you could do a standard TCP IP over SSH me personally I think the easiest for all of you guys that are on Windows and on Mac I think the easiest way is for you guys to connect uh, through your host so you could do 127. 0 0.01 and then port 3306 and your username and your password should be both root all right now what we're going to do here is we're just going to call this a regular connection we could just call it map or local map okay i already did this before all of these are connecting to the same place okay once you double click into that you will find all of the different type of uh, databases here that we have already set up I mean for me hey 
uh, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of different projects. Okay. Now for you guys, you're probably not going to have anything here. So all I want you guys to do is come here, click on create schema. Okay. And then here, what we're going to call this is we're going to say, what was the name? Sneakers. I can't remember the name of, of the project. What what did we call it? Okay. I got so many projects in here. Fresh gear. Okay. So let's call it fresh gear, fresh gear. Okay. Click apply and you should be good. Okay. Fresh gear apply. There you go and close. So this is our database and currently right now we don't have anything set up. All right. So we don't have no tables, no nothing, but we can test some things out because Adonis JS already comes with a migration for us. Okay. It has the users and it has for token. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to this dot EMV file. Okay. And we're going to change this to be for uh, my SQL. So first of all, we're going to come here and see this database connection. We're going to change this to my SQL. Okay. And then let's see, we got host 127.001 port 3333. Okay. This is the port for our server. We have node environment development. Okay. That's all fine. This is our key. Okay. User is root password is root. Okay. Now we have database. This is where we're going to put in that database name. So we're going to call this, or some people call it schema, right? So we're going to say fresh gear. All right. Now we are doing this uh, session driver cookies for now. We could always change these things later on has driver be crypt and that's fine. Okay. Let me click here. Don't show me this ever again. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, we are pretty much done. We're going to save this. Now that we saved this, what we're going to do to test out our connection to our database is we're going to come here and stop our server. Come here, press control C and we're going to say, Adonis and click Adonis, right? And you're going to see a whole bunch of different type of commands that you can do on this. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to run the migrations that are already there. So to do this, we're going to say Adonis migration run. Okay. So we're going to say Adonis migration. Okay. Run. Now we got an error. So let's figure it out. It says, uh, run NPM install my SQL dash dash save. So we still need this to be installed as far as our node modules. So all we have to do is just copy this. Okay. Come down here and do NPM install my SQL dash dash save. Might take a little while, well, might be fast. You never know with this internet. <laughs> okay. But that's just a package that we need to, to use my SQL with no JS. All right. So now let's try it again. Let's press up on our keyboard and let's do a Donna's migration run. Cool. If you see this, then that means that everything ran smoothly. Okay. So now we can come here to our MySQL workbench and refresh all right click here, refresh all. And then now we can see if we go into tables, we got the Adonis schema. Okay. This is just to keep track of what migrations ran. Okay. And then we have our users table and our tokens table. All right. Now, we can always come back to this later on and don't worry about the users table. We're definitely going to add some more columns to it. Okay. Uh, close all of this and yeah, you're pretty much done guys. As far as the setup, now we are ready to move on to the next step. Okay. I'm super excited to be back on the e-commerce course. 
because I had to take a break to teach you guys some Redux and teach you guys some other cool stuff. But for those of you guys that are following, hey man, let's get back into it, okay? Now we finally touch in the back end, all right? We're gonna focus on the database first. We're gonna set up all of our uh, database tables. And then from there, we're gonna get back into Adonis JS to make all of these things work together. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.